We're here at an empty Shea Stadium ahead of today's match with Hereford United. Once the game's concluded, we're going to catch up with Dan Stallworthy to find out more about FC Halifax's physiotherapist. The match itself ended in a one-all draw here at the Shea, with Stallworthy rarely being called into action. He then sat down to talk to us about life as a football physiotherapist. So, Dan, um, you're a physiotherapist here at FC Halifax. Yeah. How did it all begin for you, physio? Um, well, when I left school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, so I didn't go to college straight away. I ended up getting a job with training and didn't really enjoy it, so I ended up working in a sports shop, a warehouse, all sorts of stuff. And I thought, this isn't, this isn't me. And I've always kind of had physio in the back of my head, so I found out a bit more about it, found out what A-levels I needed to do. Paid for myself to go back to college and end up at uni, so went from there really. You've spent a few years of physio now, you've been at Barnes as well, yeah. correct? What's the strangest injury you've ever come across? Um, it's not probably not a strange injury that you'd think strange, but uh, my first season here at Halifax, we had a player, we can't mention his name, it's a confidentiality, yeah. but... He had a troublesome ankle and we tried everything to settle it down but we pulled him out of training, built him up, strengthened everything and it was just every time he came back it just broke down again. Eventually we got it scanned and actually two of his bones were fused together and right, it happened sort of one in a million people would have this and most of them wouldn't even know that because he played football it kind of aggravated it a lot more but just a nice clear image of two bones completely fused together, that was the strangest one I've seen so far anyway. How frustrating is it for you as a physio when the player keeps coming back from these injuries and it doesn't clear it? It's a nightmare because the manager starts put, looking to you to sort them out and if you keep sending them back and then they come back again then you start getting a lot of pressure put on you. So we need players on the pitch or available to sort of step in at a moment's notice. So. It makes you kind of think more about your treatment plan and not letting people come back too soon. So it kind of makes you a better person. Yeah. That Building a good relationship with the players is paramount to the role of a physio, but you also have to be honest with them when it comes to injuries. Stallworthy admits the decision may not always be popular, but the player's health must always come first. Well, um, you know, do players ever in some ways kind of exaggerate their injuries or perhaps play it down? Any chance of playing or maybe missing a match? So far, I've never seen a player exaggerate an injury. They all want to try and make out that they're perfectly fine. Um, so it's, it's more a case of looking at how they're moving and if what they're telling me is matching up with what I'm finding on them. Um, sometimes you just have to make the hard decision to pull them out. Do players ever find that hard to take? Yeah, definitely. All the time. Is that one of the hardest parts of the job? Not for me. <laughs> um, it is for them. Yeah, but yeah. You just have to do it. So look, if you play, you're going to make it worse, you're going to miss more games. And that tends to bring them onto your side a bit more. So which town player is in the your physio room the most? Until recently, it would have been either Tully or Smithy. But sort of recent weeks, Simon Ainge has put himself forward. He's always on the bed having a rub and getting his full body done now. He's gone from just having the calf done every now and again to calves ham hammies in his back every game. So he's definitely overtaken the other two on that one. I think he's a case of looking for excuse just to have a bit of three match luxury. I think he just likes a bit of pan through. Yeah. <laughs> just got to keep him happy. And uh, which player at the moment is uh, most difficult to treat? I would say anyone's sort of difficult to treat, but John Worthington's actually doing a physio degree, so I have to make sure I'm yeah. spot on with everything I say to him. And he ends up asking me a lot of questions. Yeah. Obviously, he wants to know for his own, of course. Just like a professional footballer, physios have their fair share of good times as well as the bad in the job. And um, what's, your, what's the best news you'd like to give everyone as a, as a physio? Uh, the best news probably last season when Van Gogh got injured and we all thought he was going to be out for about like six months. And sort of telling him that we could stay with our for living and, and we'd be back a lot sooner and that's probably the best so far. And the worst? Uh, there was a player at Barnsley and a um, young player, about 22 and it just had so many operations on his knee and we, we kept on trying and so I wasn't really sort of the lead in that because the head physio at Barnsley but we all kind of chat together and we knew that Danny, basically he's on. Gonna, Get up. not going to come through it and he would have to retire so that we, sort of knowing beforehand even though we were still trying to give him some hope but we just knew he was going to have to retire and that was, that was hard. Most importantly, Stolworthy is enjoying life at FC Halifax Town and feels settled in his role here, having had previous spells at Championship outfit Barnsley and Ghoul Town of the 8th tier. 
Uh, how does your time at FC Halifax look as you compared to uh, previous clubs? Previous clubs. Well, Halifax is kind of bang in the middle because I've been at Gould, which is a couple of divisions lower, and then I've been at Barnsley, obviously. I've worked with the academy and the first team there. Um, so, but facilities wise, we've got everything we need here at the moment. We train at Tong, which has got a gym and outdoor facilities. So, I guess the amount that's available to me is maybe slightly less here than at Barnsley, but then it's 100 times better than when I was at Gould. So, kind of all balances and stuff like that. We try and be as professional as possible here. And are you enjoying your time at Halifax? Oh, yeah, I love it. I love football, so to be working at football is great. Thanks a lot, Dan. Cheers. No worries. You can be sure to see Dan attending to the club's on-field stars over the coming weeks. While it may not be an easy job, it's certainly one he's enjoying here at the Shea.